Welcome to Big Beats for Gain Metal Show. Welcome to Big Beats for Gain Metal Show. What's up my dudes and welcome back to Big Pete's Metal Show and I'm not going to scream it because my voice is my throat is still a little fucked because I've been sick and I had ass surgery that's why I haven't been posting videos in a while I'm literally sitting on a donut pillow let's get down to the anti-PC goodness and talk about Havoc now I started my show uh, well after this album came out so I never reviewed it but uh, I hold this album to very, very high praise. I believe it to be album of the year. That'd be uh, Conformicide, Havoc's latest record. And uh, it just shows that they're a such a destructive force in modern thrash metal. And uh, they're already a very influential band, being their fourth record here in 2017. And they've been going out on tour uh, this year, and I've managed to see them twice. July 12th, uh, earlier this summer in Syracuse, and I saw them on tour with Overkill on uh, September 12th, uh, this is just a couple weeks ago. This is the, not the album review, but it's the uh, live performance review for Havoc, and i just like to put out there to begin with, Havoc is an incredible fucking live band. They sound j even better live than they do on the record, on the CD, rather. And, uh, it's just, it, it makes you bang your fucking head until your neck fucking snaps. And it makes you want to fucking mosh and, and fucking push everybody. And that's, because that's what was happening at both of the fucking, the shows that I saw them at. Uh, the first gig I caught them at, they were um, headlining. It was a small venue. There was probably about, yeah, less than 100 people there. But it was it was a fucking amazing show. They played 12 songs, 6 off the new record. They did a few off of Time Is Up and uh, Unnatural Selection. And uh, they were opening for Overkill, so they didn't do a full set. They only did 6 songs. They did a couple off of Time Is Up. And they did uh, four off of Conformicide. And uh, their live shows are completely, insanely loud and electrifying. And it's, it's just something infectious about this band. That uh, they have such raw talent. And if, if you see that they're coming, either opening for somebody or they're doing their own gig... Anywhere near you, you need to fucking go out and uh, and see them. Now, I didn't get any footage from the second time I saw them, but I did manage to get a little bit from the first time. My phone fucking dies every single time I go to a concert, which sucks dick. And, uh, yeah. So, enjoy this footage. <laughs>
after I got to see uh, Havoc perform in Syracuse, I, uh, you know, we were up in the front row, and so they all came out, and uh, uh, my buddy got a pick and a drumstick, and we got to meet them all, talk to them all uh, briefly, got to shake all their hands, we got to meet uh, Pete Weber, uh, Reese Scruggs, David Sanchez, and the new bass player. They're all great guys, uh, awesome, awesome guys. And uh, another thing that I think happened, I think the concert was so loud that it fucking destroyed the audio intake on my phone. Because now my videos are audio it fucking sucks. So, it's just a fun fact. And another band I'd like to throw in here is uh, Lich King. They're another modern thrash band who released an insanely great record earlier this year, The Omniclasm, which was reviewed here on this channel. And uh, I managed to catch them September 5th at the Bug Jar in uh, Rochester. And uh, there wasn't very many people there. There was probably only like 30 maybe 40 people there, but it was a fucking great show, and my phone was completely dead, I only managed, I literally only managed to get a couple pictures before my phone died, I couldn't even get a video, so, yeah, and Lich King is an incredibly great band too, that you must see live, if you're given the opportunity, so that concludes my review, I hope uh, you, you get out and get a chance to see Havoc, because they are fucking worth it. Every second, every penny that you pay for that show, they're fucking worth it. Same with Lich King. That'll be all, folks.